this particular dance style. A young girl in a tribe. She realized that the tribe was enduring great difficulty physically, emotionally, and spiritually. She had a dream that if there was a special dance, a special outfit, it would help the people heal. And in this dream, this is what she envisioned. A dance outfit covered with metal cones. And when the dancer would dance, the clones would clang together. And it would sound like the gentle rain falling from the sky upon the Mother Earth to help all things heal. And that's why it has become a healing song today. Some of our younger dancers, they have a fair amount of cones made out of snuff can lids. They are hammered out, they are rolled, they are tied, and they are sewn onto the dance outfit. The smaller the dancer, the less cones. For many of our adult category dancers in this category, they will wear up to 360 cones upon their dance outfit. And that equates to about an extra 80, 85 pounds. So when these ladies dance, they know the purpose of the dance. It is a healing song. We're going to move over here to Thunder Voice. You're going to have this song. Well, song of choice, women's jingle. a round of applause for our jingle dress dancers. done. If these ladies were dancing in competition, the last beat of the drum is when they stop. If they step over, understep or overstep in competition, it detracts from their points in competition. But I tell you what, all four of these ladies, they were spot on. They know how to dance that particular dance style. The last beat of the drone, that fan went up, and that was it. They know how to dance, they know how to compete, they know how to interpret the song. 